There are also great options for the people who love vehicles that can be stored in the apartment. For example, electric unicycles can now be used not only to go to work or to the store, but also to go on a hike. The Chinese company offers an electric unicycle with improved traction and an off-road tire. A range of travel on a single charge is about 96 miles, and the vehicle has an IPX5 waterproof rating, that is, it can withstand low-pressure water jet spray. For riding in the dark, a 1700 lumen headlight has been installed, and you can reach up to 37.5 miles per hour. And of course, an app is available to check the vehicle condition and adjust riding modes. The unicycle weighs about 65 and a half pounds, and you'll have to pay about $2,800 for it. A sporty and punchy personality, the must-have accessory for a smart living and green choice for a better world. A team from Indonesia offers all of that in one package. You can buy this electric scooter for about $826. Its appearance reminds us of vintage racing cars and World War II fighter planes. The experts chose a Celis Garuda for their project. It's a very popular electric scooter in the region. The model was planned to be produced in a limited edition, and its characteristics are as follows. A range of about 25 miles, a top speed of 25 miles per hour, a 500 watt electric motor, and a full battery charge in three hours. The specifications might seem modest, but the team offers other models, and this one is clearly about style and the desire to stand out, not speed and power. Did you know that the company Can-Am first manufactured motocross dirt bikes? And it succeeded. But then, the team wanted to expand and started making four-wheelers. Today, Can-Am is the second biggest player on the quad bike market, and they regularly come up with new products. How do you like this track system called Apache? The system fits different models and comes in several variants. For example, the Apache Backcountry is ideal for snow, while the Apache 360 and 360 LT are universal solutions for any season. They feature a larger contact area, reduced weight, and a more aggressive shape of the tracks, so even a beginner will be able to handle it. However, you'll have to pay a pretty penny for the Apache 360 LT, which costs almost $6,000. This is a tracked vehicle presented on Behance by a specialist from the United States. It's a four-wheeled and four-seat vehicle that makes us think of other planets. Nevertheless, it is perfect for winter trips on Earth. The author obviously chose a powerful engine. In a case of problems, a winch will be helpful. How much do you think it would cost? Do you know how much a custom bike can cost? In Switzerland, they make a model based on a Harley Davidson for an insane price of $1.79 million. And in Germany, they went even further. The custom bike came with a 148-foot yacht. The price was incredible too, about $15.9 million. However, many fans of custom vehicles believe that a true custom bike is the one assembled with your own hands. Even amateur mechanics could build this model, for example. Moreover, it's more eco-friendly than similar products. The bike has got pedals and a 2 kilowatt electric motor, so it reminds us of a motorcycle and a bicycle at the same time. And you could probably ride it even on a bicycle path. Hydrogen vehicles are not only trendy, but also promising. For example, in 2016, Germany showed the first hydrogen train created to replace diesel models. 
Japan is not lagging behind either. Lexus came up with this hydrogen buggy concept. Extreme off-road qualities plus almost zero emission as it burns a little bit of engine oil. Japanese experts promise comfort in off-road conditions and a practical design. The seats are covered with synthetic leather, the paint finish has been specially created for the concept, and the location of the steering wheel, the brakes and the pedals are similar to the Lexus production cars. It all works thanks to a 61 cubic inch compressed hydrogen engine. It offers excellent responsiveness and makes your trips eco-friendly. The UK also knows a lot about great cars. After all, Aston Martin, Rolls-Royce and Land Rover come from there. But younger companies also have something to offer. The company BAC, which was founded in 2009, has presented this single-seat sports car. It's called the Mono R, and it's the evolution of the previous version, the Mono. Different upgrades allow for a great progress. The engine has remained the same, but the output has grown from 309 to 342 horsepower. In addition, this is the first production car in the world whose exterior panels are made of graphene. Thanks to this, the Mono R weighs only 1,224 pounds, so it's more than four times lighter than some versions of the Land Rover Defender. It takes about two and a half seconds to accelerate to 62 miles per hour, and when you hear the price, You'll need about the same time to decide if you can afford it. It costs about $221,000. Next up is the Czech Republic which is one of the top 10 European car manufacturers. This country produces about 1.4 million cars per year and many spare parts for different models. In addition, there are several extremely curious projects from the Czech Republic. For example, this electric car with in-wheel hub motors. This is not a concept. This is a real car, the Czechs clarify. They explain that this is the first mass-produced car with in-wheel hub motors. Thanks to ingenious technical decisions, the car is not only energy efficient, but also affordable. As the price starts at $40,200, the characteristics of the two-seat coupe are quite good. Left and right-hand drive versions, up to 186 miles on a single charge, a top speed of 91 miles per hour, charging up to 80% in just an hour and about 66 horsepower. This unusual vehicle is difficult to classify. Some publications are sure that it's a moped, while others believe that it's actually a bicycle. In the end, only the manufacturer knows the truth, and for them, it's an e-bike. In any case, this vehicle will delight you with acceleration up to 30 miles per hour in 4 seconds, the ability to take a passenger with you, a top speed of about 50 miles per hour, a range of up to 100 miles on a single charge, and futuristic lighting. The team is already taking pre-orders, and they want about $6,000 for the standard version. The vehicle will be produced in the US, and if you can't wait to try it, a test drive appointment is available. Next on our list is Brazil. This is where the legendary Interlagos circuit, familiar to all F1 fans, is located. Here, you can see races on gravity races or soapboxes, which are basically motorless vehicles. The first gravity racers appeared in the country in the 60s and 70s, and to assemble them, experts often used extra parts from car repair shops. For example, some of the best bearings were transmission bearings. Today's approximate restrictions are as follows. Only handmade vehicles, no engine or anything similar, a minimum of four wheels, 
brakes and a helmet for the driver. This pastime is popular around the world, and one of the fastest gravity races is the Lotus 119, which reached 199 miles per hour while descending on a 45 degree slope. Let's go to Ireland, a country that's known for its developed fishing industry. It's so well developed that seven different committees oversee compliance with the laws and regulations in the industry. And in the early 2000s, the country was harvesting about 66 million pounds of fish. So, this electric hydrofoil boat from a local company obviously will be of great aid. Not only has the project successfully passed a number of tests, but it's also considered commercially viable. The multi-purpose boat is ready to carry up to 12 passengers at about 39 miles per hour. The range on a single charge is 69 miles, and the special propulsion system can save up to 90% of energy compared to conventional boats. The first deliveries are scheduled for 2023. We did it, and it was worth it, writes one of the participants of this custom project. This was a Suzuki GSX, but after some modifications, it's almost impossible to recognize it. The model runs on a Kawasaki ZZR600 engine. Besides, the masters added two car wheels with car tires, redesigned the suspension, and added a lot of handmade details. This is Haute Couture, a motorcycle not suitable for the street. This is art, art on two wheels. The project description states, Nothing unusual, just a six-wheel diesel SUV driving up to a wall and then climbing on top of it. And there's no doubt that it can drive over almost any terrain. One review notes, Here you can see a model designed for the military, and many of its features were designed to fit into specific parameters. For example, the SUV is 56 inches wide, thanks to which it fits into the Bell V22 converter plane. It has all-wheel drive and a payload of 2,500 pounds. A 42-horsepower diesel engine and three locking differentials provide good handling in almost all conditions. The SUV storms the walls so intensely during presentations that it finally broke it. 